Am I the arsehole? For splashing women with water at the pool? Swimming is my F31 hobby and how I keep healthy. My favorite swimming pool is local university pool. As a graduate I have access but they also have community hours when people from the town can pay and swim. It doesn't do lay in swimming but typically everyone knows to stay away from those doing laps. I was doing laps at the far end with the pool wall on my side so I couldn't move if I wanted to. I was mid-session when two women my age jumped right in front of me and just stood there by the wall on the shallow end. I couldn't stop in time and pushed from the wall between them forcing them to move aside. I was being more careful next lap but they just kept standing there. There was plenty of space on the other side of the pool where they could stand and chat without bothering anyone but they chose to stand right in front of me. So I continued swimming pushing from the wall. If they refused to move, I just turned in water making sure to make a big splash. I took a break to drink some water and one of them started screaming at me how I got her hair all wet. Told her it's her fault and continued swimming. She waited for me in the changing rooms and went on about how I was inconsiderate and I ruined her hair. I told her to fuck off. She started going off at me and started screaming calling me an asshole and a bitch. I grabbed my stuff and went to one of the cubicles to have a shower and change. When I was leaving they were talking to the manager, one of them was crying about her hair. I told my sister and she thinks I was an asshole but I didn't think so before. Now, with my sister agreeing I worry that I might have been. Am I the asshole? Edit just to add, I was the only person there when they came in. They had the whole pool to stand, they chose to purposefully stand in front of me, without swimming at all. Edit 2 The pool is 25 meters long and you swim lengthwise, from deep to shallow end and back. They had whole shallow end wall free except for the meter or so I used for kicking off. I didn't take the whole shallow end. Who would do laps there except for kids? Edit 3 While there's no designated lap lanes, lap swimming isn't forbidden. Typically, during open swim, 75 of swimmers do lap swimming. Edit 4 They weren't older ladies, they were about my age early 30s. Edit 5 I didn't leave the pool to grab water, I had water on the edge along with my other stuff for drills or my ear plugs, etc. This is perfectly normal and acceptable. If you go to a pool but don't want to get your hair wet, you wear a cap. Simple as that. You already were there, those two had all the pool space but choose to stand there and get mad at you for something they could have avoided in more than one way. Not the asshole. Info. It doesn't do lay in swimming but typically everyone knows to stay away from those doing laps. To what degree is this an unspoken courtesy that regulars simply concede to, versus what, if any, posted regulations are there on the wall of the pool? I don't think I've ever been to a pool with public access that didn't have the rules on the wall. ESH. I read the comments, and if stopping for two minutes to politely ask them to move somewhere else would have made you lose your focus then you shouldn't be doing your workout during community hours. Or you could just have started swimming away from them if the pool was empty except for you three. It seems the only reason you didn't move was because. They also could move and they didn't. That does seem like kind of a childish reason. However, it is a pool and this lady has to accept that her hair might get wet on accident, and she shouldn't have started screaming and insulting you. ESH you missed the using your words to ask step before you decided to passive aggressively splash them. They were being inconsiderate ours, but you escalated beyond what was necessary. ESH. I was a D1 swimmer. Lordy I know how annoying these situations can be. But they may not know if they didn't grow up in that environment. There wasn't lane swimming nor posted rules. You were way rude and could have solved this problem by asking them to give you a little space. That being said it's a pool and water do be wet. Natar. Swimming pools are full of water. If she didn't want wet hair, then she should either wear a swimming cap or find a different form of exercise chatting place. 
you're the asshole. I'm a swimmer as well, but unless a pool has dedicated lap swimming you aren't entitled to an entire length of pool. Part of the deal with lap swimming during wreck hours is you'll lose your lane if the wreck swimmers take up residence in your path. Extra you're the asshole for splashing on purpose and cursing at her. Is civility an option for you at all? Could you have said, excuse me, I want to do laps on this edge of the pool, would you mind moving? Or do you go directly to big splashes and f-bombs? Sh, mostly you. You're in a pool and complaining about your hair getting wet? If you ever see them again I'd practice your cannonball entry form into the pool because you are not the asshole for splashing them, especially when it wasn't intentional. Info did you at least ask them to move? It is pretty dumb to stand exactly where someone is swimming, especially when the pool is empty. Also if you splashed once during a turn, you'd think they'd get the hint and move, especially if they're worried about their hair. In a pool. Filled with water. But without asking, E-S-H, especially since you were purposely splashing them. You're the asshole. there was no lane swimming. Next time ask them to move before being passive aggressive. You're the asshole. please don't take up cycling. E-S-H. You, for splashing them on purpose. Them, because they didn't move out of your way. You're the asshole. This is a public pool and not a private swimming pool for your exclusive use if somebody gets into a section of the pool you'd like to swim through you're in no way entitled to physically barge them out of the way, splash water over them and then swear at them in the changing room. ESH. It's a public pool with no designated lane for swimming laps. You're not entitled to force your way through others to do laps. Crying to the manager over hair getting wet at a pool is too much. Did you say anything to them prior to splashing them? If not, then ESH. If you did, then that was a bit rude but not as rude as they're standing in your way. This is why I swim at 5am no malingering to swim around. ESH if there was no one else in the pool and you could have moved over slightly it would have made no difference to you and you did soak them intentionally. But they're also the R for getting in the way of someone obviously swimming laps. And complaining about wet hair in a pool needs to have a word with themselves. I think this is definitely an ESH situation. But my real question is why did you post here in bad faith when you clearly have no intention of hearing any other perspectives? You just want validation that what you did was fine and are arguing back with anyone who points out that your actions were immature and unnecessary. You posting here and your comments back are just as childish as your actions at the pool. But, uh, it's a public pool. They had just as much right to be right there, right then, as you did. You and your labs are not more important than them. If they were in your way, you should have moved. You chose to be an ass and purposely make big splashes instead of moving. Not the asshole. Unless there was some reason they needed to be in that spot, although given you were already doing laps, it's on them to explain why they needed to be right in your way with the whole pool available. These people are the pool equivalent of those people that have an empty beach but then park their four screaming kids and all their shit two feet from your blanket. You're the asshole I am a swimmer too and do laps too all the time, it isn't hard to move to other side, plus it is a public pool, people are always going to be in the way. You're the asshole after your comments. 1 you are not training for the Olympics. 2 you could have moved out as much as they could, but as the inconvenient was on your side you should have been the one moving or at least asking. 3 recreational hours after that, recreation. So floating standing on one side is acceptable as much as your laps. Not the asshole. Standing next to a swimmer, you'll absolutely get splashed. If getting your hair wet is that detrimental to your day, a pool is maybe not the best hangout spot. You were there first, they were aware that you were swimming laps. Sh, as you didn't even try to ask them to move, and that excuse about losing your focus is pretty weak as you were clearly already losing focus being annoyed by them and making a bigger splash as possible. That being said, if the entire pool is available, 
it's pretty ridiculous to be in the one spot where you're in the way of a person swimming laps. Also, the idea of that one woman being so upset that her hair might get wet while she's in a pool is pretty hilarious. I was mid-session when two women my age jumped right in front of me and just stood there by the wall on the shallow end. I couldn't stop in time and pushed from the wall between them forcing them to move aside. Not the asshole. It's pretty basic etiquette not to get in the way of a lap swimmer, especially when the rest of the pool is unoccupied. You're the asshole. If the pool doesn't have lanes for that reason then they don't want you using to pool like that. Congrats, I bet management put a sign up saying no laps because someone couldn't politely ask people to move or use common sense and go around them. You're the asshole. Do what kindergartners are taught to do and use your words. All you had to do was ask the women nicely if they could please move. You wouldn't lose any more focus from your workout than you did by planning passive-aggressive ways to antagonize them. The fact that there aren't any posted rules about the lanes just solidifies the fact that you're the asshole. Not the asshole water is wet. Not the asshole at all. Imagine being upset because your hair got wet. In a swimming pool. You're the asshole. Utter. It's community hours without dedicated lanes. Anyone is free to enjoy the pool. You didn't need to splash them. You could have asked nicely. If they didn't agree, you could have come back another time or adjusted your routine. They may have been dramatic. But they had just as much a right to be there as you. Are you sure you're not 11? You're the asshole it's not a lap pool and you don't have the right to an entire lane. Either join a pool that has lap swimming or pick up a different exercise.